Hello, I have been trying to get the uh, Llama 2 model working for the last two days. I could not get an API, so I decided to try out a Llama 2 model, which did not require an API. So in this video, we are going to see a text completion, which means you simply ask a question and get an answer, for which we are going to use the Llama 2 chat model. Specifically, it does not require an API. The Llama 2 model has been creating waves for the last one week. It's an open source uh, LLM from Meta AI. It is a collection of pre-trained and fine-tuned generative text models. There are three different parameter settings. One is the 7 billion, 13 billion, and the 70 billion. The Llama to chat model that we are going to use in this video is a fine-tuned LLM. As the website professes, it has been optimized for dialogue use cases. And for most of the benchmarks, they found that it outperforms the other open source chat models. We will be downloading Llama 27B chat GGML. I will be giving the link for the website in the description below. And in that, ensure that you're in files and versions, and then you click download. This will help you to download the model. Now that it has downloaded, we need to run the Llama model using 4-bit integer quantization, for which we pip install Llama CPP Python. Quantization is simply the process in which we convert high precision numerical values, like 32-bit floating points into lower precision. Here, the lower precision that we're looking for is the 4-bit. Why do we need it? We're talking about machine learning models here and the parameters are all in full floating point numbers and lesser the size of the parameters, the smaller our model becomes. In the Langchain framework, we need to import ROM template and LLM chain. And then to use the Llama CPP, we import Llama CPP from Langchain.LLM. And to print the chain's output on the screen we use the callback manager and to specify that the output has to be on the screen we use the streaming std out callback handler if you want to write it to a file you also have options to write to a file callback handler i'm going to write a prompt in which i want to find if a number is prime and i wanted to give the explanation in a step-by-step -step manner and inform me if the number is prime or not prime so I construct the object for the prompt template for which I have to pass the template, which is the prompt itself. And the input variable that I'm going to pass is the number. We want the verbose to be passed. And so we call the callback manager with the handler that we want. And that is to be sent as a list. We are going to make use of Llama 2. In that, we are going to use 7 billion parameters. And this is the Llama to chat model. And we also want it to be quantized for four bits, for which we use the GGML format. Now we need to create an object for Llama CPP. We need to pass the model path. Remember to give the correct path at which in which your bin file is found. I can set my parameters. Here the parameters which I've set are temperature and max length. Since I want the mathematical answer, I have set the temperature to be zero. And I'm going to use an LLM chain and I want the result or the thinking process of the LLM chain on the screen for which I've used the callback manager and verbose is equal to true. When you run it, we see the list of CPU instruction sets and their corresponding values. Those instruction sets that have been enabled have a one and the others have a zero. Finally, we pass the LLM and the prompt through the LLM chain and then run it. Here I have given one input variable, which is number. And so I pass the number as parameter. And the output I get is input is the number three, the explanation, the steps, and finally the answer. When you actually run it, you can see it typing on the screen and that's how slow it is. Thank you.